I love Ali. My love for him is genuine. <laughs> genuine. What did I say? Genuine. 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 That's right. <laughs> That's the only genuine I know. Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, a boy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. They French or Chinese, a brand new K-1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. It's reality, yes. Let's love. The only genuine we know is that. Uh, my pony. Do you remember the first time you heard that song? Yes. Oh, did you bump and grind on someone or were you out? I don't then? know. I don't know what I did then. I think I just watched people grind. <laughs> what? <laughs> while I while I while I made a fool of myself in the corner. <laughs> oh god, I just got a leg cramp. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a horse in my hamstring. <laughs> Stop making noise. Stop. I wish everyone could see what you're. What you're. Stop. Stop. It hurts. Can, can you not? Can you not okay. squeal? Hold on. Let me put my leg up on the table. Who get, oh. You're you're in a fucking we work. I'm, I'm in a fucking we work right now, y'all. <laughs> The person just walked by and I waved at the well, door. You're I've got screaming. my leg up in the air. You're <laughs> screaming. Oh, I got a Charlie horse. <sighs> well, my more Pilates active. teacher's been no, my, no, that's I think the my Pilates teacher has been kill, kicking it, and I've started go, lifting weights, and so going to with the your gym, legs. So. I do some, yeah. I got to just I got to do my, I got to do those back hammies for that ass. If we're throwing that ass in a circle, the peach better be peaching. <laughs> the less we can talk about your peach the better y'all i'm gonna tell you this right now this is a this is a ps gay a ps gay i've had sex many times before <laughs> not as much as poodle it's not a competition it's never gonna be yeah, it kind song. of is but that's okay i'm not competing with that i don't want to but i will say this Ever since I haven't had a lot of sex since I've been doing Pilates so regularly, and you know, our yeah. Pilates teacher, he's like all the time, like, girl, get those Kegel muscles, those pee pee muscles. And like, you know, yeah. you better, you better work it, bitch. And I'm like, okay, now I think I have a superpower where I can, I can make men come as quickly as I want them to. <laughs> and they are powerless. Uh, I've always had that, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't think you have. I've always had a but, telescope. Telescope in there. Telescope. <laughs> just milk her. Just a milk. I'm just saying that if you want to surprise your boyfriend, your husband, or anyone with the Pilates, dick, do a little, do a little inner work. I do notice that my 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 floor exercises <laughs> yes. are are in, because my core is stronger. My yes. floor when I can just like grab up and I can like pull myself up on them. <laughs> and I'm, yes. and I'm just all of a sudden all of a, all of a sudden I'm like night crawler. <laughs> I, yes, like yes, like that mutant. <laughs> It's true. I'm climbing a wall. You're like the what's that horrible movie where the dog climbs the walls and then <laughs> stares at them? Like, <laughs> this is nine day UK. Sorry you had to deal with him having a Charlie horse. Sorry, that was painful. <laughs> Christina, leave episodes. that in. That was weird. <laughs> And it's going to make people feel strange. Um, season three, episode ten. Where the hell is he? 
Where the hell is he? It was on. It was on today. I watched. Can this we morning. save Charlotte and Joan to the end? Because since they were the most Johan, you think Johan? Johan. Couple yeah. of things, real quick, before we jump into this. Speaking of the UK, y'all, in August we are going to be covering Love Is Blind UK. Love Is Blind UK. But that is a show that's going to be on RG Plus at the five dollar tier. Yes. So the lowest tier. So, but we're going to put that first episode out. Yeah, so we will have an episode out to try before you buy on the five, and the, you can jump on the five dollar tier. We're excited about that in August. Uh, we've already talked about on tow. We talked about the there is going to be a five part tell all the happily ever after, and the tell all trailer looks amazing. It is. Uh, Angela is particularly screaming and violent. Um, mm-hmm. Ed is particularly annoying, and who knew Thais? Starting to launch her 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 um her career as a reality hand thrower. I, I, yes, I'm fine with it. I thought yeah. of this, so I watched it though, and I went, "Poor Kim from Cray Cray," because Kyle's not going to be able to talk. Hate watch any of these people. He hates this cast so much. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are it's, they going to talk about? Yeah, yeah, they they've had a hard time. Yeah. So at least she has. So um, that's anything other. Uh, oh, one more announcement. I'll let you. You know this one. I, whenever you say that, I don't know what it you is. You don't remember? Just I'll give, give me a hint. hint. You flirted with him shamelessly. Oh, the Marcus Parks uh, collab <laughs> um, from last podcast on the left is going to be dropping on Friday. We're very excited Y'all, about that. Shamelessly. Just uh, sickening. And we were actually, I'm sorry. Take a Pepto Bismol before you listen. (laughs) If you're, if your friends, uh, if you're a fan of Last Podcast on the Left and you're in like a forum or Reddit or just on their social media, um, a little shout out about the show would be so helpful. Um, We're, 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 as I said before, we're trying, we're trying to get a different vector. Some to, people say sharing is caring, but we're like, no, think of us like, think of reality gays like, like, HPV. We want to yeah, be everywhere. Giving some chlamydia to people. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want some eye syphilis? By the way, a friendly. Dude, if, I'm, if I'm sleeping with people now, do I need to be worried about eye syphilis? Because there are billboards in Los Angeles that are scaring me. I don't know. I don't, How do I don't, you get eye syphilis? I feel like you get eye syphilis anytime someone touches your eye. I, I gotta like, ask my sister in law. She's a nurse and works for the department. I, of health. I don't. You She'll know what? Know. I don't want to. I do not want to give um, incorrect medical information here. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna talk to my sister in law. She's gonna find out. I don't think this is the place people should go to learn about eye no. syphilis. No, I have not seen learn, those no. billboards. Oh, they're all I, they're all over LA right now. You're gonna see them now that I said them. Eye syphilis. Eye syphilis. I did. yes. <sighs> I know. I can't walk around getting cockeyed. Ocular syphilis is an eye condition. If you can, you have to, you have, it it can occur if you have untreated syphilis. So you have to have untreated syphilis. So just, so you just put out a panic to scare people that you (laughs) could get syphilis. But that's what those billboards have done to me. Just show somebody in their eyes and it's eyes all red and crusty and it says, beware eye syphilis. So for clarity. You have to have untreated syphilis. Um, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> That's great. Well, just slut around then. <laughs> wow. Big slut. <laughs> <laughs> Take your oh. slut pills. Yeah. Um, anyway, can we start? Yeah. Can we start the Let's show now? Slut? Yeah. All right. We've got 47 um, minutes before this WeWork closes. It sounds like you're in a fucking Elks Hall. It's it so does. reverberant. I know. They need rooms with paneling. Yeah. Um, so we're we're skipping Charlotte and Johan and going on. God, I don't want to talk about John and Sprite. It's kind of why I wanted to get him he, done first. He, John triggers the fuck out of me. The like, Just this <sighs> a- aching pit of need. You know what I think it is too, though there is that, but I think what because I know this triggers you too. I've really I've liked this season more than you, yeah. But this was the first episode where I went, okay, Ugh. this just feels like we are completely just 
Not even tight. This show has a history with sometimes leaving a little bit of loose ends, but this is like, and we'll talk about this with Tony and Nui. It's like, we're oh just my God. almost going to have just revisionist history or jump the shark here oh. and just tie it up with a bow. That storyline gave me whiplash. It's like if um, uh, Sleeping with the Enemy was a romantic comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which, speaking of, but, you know, we didn't talk about this, but we did not see any of uh, Nicole and Miss Mood on the tell-all either, so maybe they're not going to be. Yeah, I don't think they one. are. I don't think so, they were involved. I think you're getting, though, I'm getting triggered that, though, with John, where this all feels like spriting him to have this stupid made-up fight. It's totally fake. He also said, well, yeah, after, he's like, we've already talked like three hours, and then he doesn't know what to say. And I'm like, okay, y'all are talking hours a day. You're uh, fine. He, no, no, no. There's no reason you need to take th- talk three or four hours a day. Agree. There's Agreed. no reason. I talk three hours a week. Get a job. If that. Get a job, John. Or have find a fucking do. hobby. Yes. Um. So let's. One of the reasons he triggers me is I find him embarrassing. Like it's embarrassing to watch him for me. I get because that. it's someone who is so insecure. And then blames yeah. their partner for their own insecurity. Ah, uh, it's embarrassing. He does do that. He does do that. Um, it's embarrassing as another gay person. Honestly, that's <laughs> you're a terrible gay person. Oh wow, you're not wrong. Well, he's a, he's you're a, not wrong. Yeah, he's God. a big. He is a big ball of need, though. That's yeah. That's. Needy so, triggers you. You really, it really like, does. It does me too. But yeah, I, well, I just say have some self respect. You're on television for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> if oh. if New York can can have a fit about. Um, if you ever seen this, it, it was it's it was on um, Celebrity Big Brother in the UK. It's one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. They uh, David David Bowie's ex wife was in there, um, and when David Bowie passed, they told her in the UK Big Brother house, and uh, she she told New York, um, so Dave, David passed away, and also in that same house was David David Guest, um, uh, oh, Liza, Liza Minnelli's Minnelli. ex-husband, who was so gay. He's and now he was dead, just, right? I'm not sure. He was sick for a while. But yeah. they told New York, they're like, David's, she's like, David's dead. And, and New York goes, David's dead? <laughs> <laughs> and she runs around, did you hear? Tells everyone, David's dead. <laughs> and they're like, no, he's not. He's just sick. He's right there. <laughs> You can Google it. It's one of the funniest fucking things you've ever seen. If New York, if New York can do that, that's television. That's television. What, is, what does that have this, to do with the? Okay, we're getting there because it was a complete and utterly ridiculous thing. I'm just saying this is television. There needs to be higher standards, John. Well, if that I, I was on television. I think a lot of this is Sprite needs to not be so nice. We need a bitchier Sprite. This is Agreed. disappointing because he's saying things like, I miss you and I want to go. I was like, this is not the Sprite that we want to see. He's like, yeah. well, I've got to come to the UA, UK. John goes to eat with his sister, Lysar. Lysar. Um, do, can I ask you a question? Yeah. This thing when he says, what did you do today? Um. Y'all, I would just put the phone down and let him just spiral. I well, he you says, don't like. I always do that because you don't like it when I've been home in Oklahoma. Because I'll you'll I'll call you and I'll say, "What are you doing?" And you hate that. You don't care. I I it's a useless I thing care. to say. No, like that's what I love because it always I like it because I'll call my sister. Should I say I'll be like, I'm masturbating? Well. Then I'll say, then I'll leave you to it. And I'll just hang up the phone. Um, um, now, my cousin, sister cousin would say like, oh, what are you watching? Is it like, what, what kind of gay stuff is it? And so then we have a conversation well, here's, about what we're here's, doing. Here's what I have a problem with. What are you doing? I'm talking on the phone to you. 
Uh, do I have yeah. to be doing something else while I'm talking to you? I mean, I like it, but I get it, but I like it. To me, it then but sets the scene of where someone is. These people, these two people, he goes, Sprite, you never asked me anything. Um, how am I supposed to make conversation? Uh, and I'm like, you, the way you make conversation is by asking things. And if he stops to be, if he isn't talking to you, there's a reason for it. Yeah. You can't. Well, Sprite says you need to be more interesting, <laughs> which was great. <laughs> that was great. And he said, I don't have to fight. He's like, because John says, maybe I fight with you because we talk more than we fight, which is one of the shittiest things to say to someone. It, it's, I actually think that's true. And I went, and that's gross that you have the awareness about it. Exactly. To you to do it again. And, and Sprite says, you know. well, I don't have to fight because I'm happy. You spread your negative energy because your life isn't good. <laughs> a read. But fair. But God, fair. I can't stand John. And, and he, so he's talking to Lisa and that's when she he says, we talk three to four hours a day. And then after an hour and a half, we're done. Wait, you have an hour and a half worth of shit to say to each other per day? What are you doing for the rest of the hour and a half or two hours? After, do you just say, um, you know who I really like? Jerry Halliwell. Me too. You know who I don't really like? I don't, don't Emma Button songs never did well for me. Yeah, me either. That's not true. I loved her songs. Those never did well. Those never charted well, though. The Jerry Halliwell's songs charted really well. They charted well, yeah. But I like the one that she did. She did that one that was really nice. Yeah, free. Let me live to love you. We're oh, not going to have this conversation. The, I was trying to talk about how I'm inane. You know, you know what? That's true. Gady D. I'm sorry. You brought up the Spice Girls. That mm-hmm. wrong. You can't blame me for that. That would. Does straight but you're right. people. Do straight men know the names of the original Spice Girls? No. <laughs> no. Well, th- they know one or two that they wanted to bang. I don't know if they would. I think they would they, know them as Scary Spice, Sporty Spice. Oh, oh, you mean oh the yeah, actual yeah. Christian names that I no, just delivered? They don't know. They they would not know. Yeah, I don't even I, I don't even remember Scary Spice's name. Uh, Melanie. Melanie um, yes. B. Mel B. Oh, Mel B. I do know that. Yeah. Um, Mel C, Melanie C, and Emma Bunton, and um, uh, who am I missing? Oh, of course, Victoria uh, Beckham. Victoria Beckham. You have waylaid us with Spice Girls. <gasps> no, you had opinions. No. You don't. <laughs> so he's like, I'm ready I for just don't know. Gone, I don't know why, Sp- why can't Sprite ask me questions. And she went, well, do you think that someone has to ask you things to know they care about you? And he went, well, yes. <laughs> and maybe he doesn't care about me. <sighs> I want to scream fake. in his face. No one does. It's fake. Go to therapy. Yeah. Um, so Sprite is arriving from Thailand. Today. The, the house is a mess. I think this whole thing is fake. And, uh, he he's he's going to purpose. He's going to propose. He's, he's going, going to, to purpose. purpose. And uh, I will, but y'all, but this is what's confusing. They're fighting. The sprite like me. Why are you going to purpose? And then in the next scene, he's going to ask him to be married. And I wrote, "This is whiplash." It is. It, and yeah. it's and it's this is one of the dumbest things to try to figure out where you are by proposing. It, he does yell in traffic like you do, though. It reminded me of you. He was yeah. not happy in traffic. Did you notice, what did you think of his, as he called them, decorations that what he bought the, at the Goodwill store? Uh, you say Goodwill. I want to say, what is the British version of home goods? Home goods. Hobby Lobby. Like, hobby, yeah. What oh, is, I, I think it's Hobby Lobby. The British version? They have Hobby Lobby? No, I'm asking. It's, it's oh, Hobby Lobby. yeah. Because it's like, slightly, it's it looked like it with the heart hands and the fish and the bird, and it's white because Sprite hates color. Yeah, it's it's like, did he get it at what's the place that has the box that everyone gets the food, the drugstore? They 
Do they sell shit like Tesco? this? No, remember when they talked to us? They, they said it's a thing like you get your your your, be, your bees box or uh, I boots, can't remember boots your boots box in the UK because okay. they all go to boots. So I don't did remember. He get to said like a boots. I I you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's so trash. It's just like they're tchotchkes. and yeah. in what world? Because Sprite is minimalist. Sprite hates all things. Mm-hmm. Sprite even hates John, I think. <laughs> I think so, too. Mm-hmm. And the flight was delayed, so he's not that late. What is he wearing? I called this a bath coat. A combination of a bathrobe and a coat. Mm. <laughs> yes, a bath coat. Yes, I think that's, I, I think that's, I think that's an this apt is description. one of the ugliest things I've ever seen anyone wear out of a house. It's way too big for him, too. It just is, is this a, I was completely com- flummoxed by this coat. You still it, are. It, it bothered like. me. Um, it looks like something that your mom would, like you'd be dropped off for school and your mom would have to get out of your car and go, cheaper you forgot your lunch again. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your brown bag. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then she said something about, and you better be, you better remember, I'm not, I got to sell, I got to, uh, I'm, I have a closing today at three, at, at three 30. So you got to ride the bus, you and your brother. I love you. Give me a kiss. And in front of your, all your kids, in front of all the kids. That doesn't sound like this is a core memory at all. No, very much a core memory. <laughs> Did y'all but like is, riding the bus this or no? is a, I hated riding the bus. Do you know how long it took us to get home? <laughs> We were in a very rural area. Oh. It took us at least 45 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. The kids who lived out further had it rough, rougher than we did. And Jan Lewis, my bus driver with the rat tail, (laughs) would just go over a bump and you just, all the kids would just go up in the air. (laughs) They really should put seatbelts on those now. They really should. Um, Anyway, this, this, this coat robe... Or bath coat triggered me. I like coat robe too. Um, he picks up John, gets there, and again, John, you can tell, or not John, you can tell Sprite is very excited to see him. And I went, this isn't what I wanted. Yeah, the, they have a hard time tracking the plot, I feel like, where, where, where their fake relationship is. They have a hard time tracking the temperature. Yes. Uh, Sprite does look at his coat and say, uh, I, I looked at his coat and says, it's too long. It's too big. Um, and then he looks, he gets home and he sees the tchotchkes and he's like, why do you buy stupid things? <laughs> when are you going to throw these away? I'm going to throw I them away that. as soon as you're at work. I enjoy um, that. I think he bought them just to have, I think they're so boring. I think, uh, I think John sits at home thinking of things to say to Sprite to get a rise out of him. And while he's edging to his pictures 10 hours a day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, just put that image in your head with the no, coat on. Just, just naked wearing him the being coat. sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> with that like smile and that yeah. ruddy like Dutch complexion. Ugh. God, I can't stand him. Anyway, I think he's a handsome guy, but when you get to know him, I'm like, Look. it's it's gone for me. Yeah. Um, Sprite yeah. says, even when we're fighting, I still really love John, and I need to say something, but I don't want to ruin the moment. <sighs> I just don't. I don't buy it. I just don't buy I just it. Don't buy it. Yeah, that's what I don't buy. I think now. Look, are we with our next couple with Sam and Ali? Are we done? I think we're done. They wrapped it up. Same for I, Tony Nui, thank God. I need to say that seeing what I called there, – there were several articles of clothing that I recoiled at. Mm. The second one perhaps in a greater way. Did, did you peep the tandem Snuggie that mom and Sam were in? 
This is a new nightmare unlocked for me. I, I, I kind of want to buy one of these and do something where you have to do something in it. I would never get in one of these with you. I would never, <laughs> ever do this. Why are these? Why do people buy these? I, because they want to be together, you know. And no, love no, each no, other no. You and, don't. You you don't. You can share a blanket. You don't need to share a snuggie. Uh, it is the it is the most codependent way to stay warm. I have a <laughs> feeling this is probably for people who were involved in a relationship. Probably, but her and her mom are doing it. You know. I think we should get one. Maybe we could do a watch along in one. It'd be fun. Absolutely not. Okay. Well, it'll be a cold day in hell. <laughs> well, if it's and cold, I can imagine you need a double you'd be, snuggie. It'd be so warm. I would actually need to push you aside, like the, your mm. your sweaty body heat. But with my Nina West body, I would walk away, and you would just drag you. It's true. By the yeah. way, did you see there's a new drag race that's like a global one? And I'm like, I'm not going to watch this. And then I saw Alyssa Edwards is going to be on it. <laughs> she's so she's so funny. So good. Uh, anyway, I think they're done. So you know, she's been back uh, in England for three or four weeks. He has his English test. And she says, another thing I pay for. Yeah, that was gross. Um, of course, she mentions that. There's, you know, there's this big rigmarole. Like, even I know now at this point, if what's-his-name could pass his English test. <laughs> if Jose. One, if a Jose <laughs> could pass his English. I knew that this guy was All fine. Ali's English is fine. But he, he fucks with Sam and makes her think she didn't. And she's like, uh. But then he says, like, you're long, you're long, you're long, bro. You're telling, you're feeling to me, you're feeling on to me. And, and he says, yes. What's interesting here is when he, she does, she's like, well, you, you, you need to do it again. I'm not paying for it. It's very expensive. And she reacts, she reacts so badly to the lie. It's kind of like when you, when you tell someone something, you it, like, oh, I flunked my driver's test, and they go, oh, it's okay, you'll you'll do it again. I, I fooled you. Oh, thank goodness. What what you don't expect them to say is, yeah, I flunked my driver's test. You idiot. What are we gonna do now? You fucked us. I paid twenty quid for that. And the other person goes, quid. oh, that didn't handle the way I wanted it at all. No, she was horrible about it. She was. She was. And then yeah. he's like, see, I'm going to be fine when I come to the UK now. And he did say, she said, are you excited to come to the UK now? And he's like, I'm excited to come to you. And this I went. This guy's a pro. Well done, Olga Pudelskaya graduate. Yes. And later on, this, they're yeah, chatting Masper. in the tandem Snuggie with her yes. mother, with him mm -hmm. and the iPad in the middle Trying to they're eat. watching naked dating. They're the the show where they have that revealed, and they're like, "What? Well, which one do you want?" Uh, and he's like, "Maximum size," because <laughs> he's horrified at this show, he's as horrified. kind of both of us were. It's um, a huge show in the UK, though. Like everyone yeah. sits around as a family and watches it because they're not as weirded out by nudity as we it's, fucking are in Puritanical to me, it's not even America. The, it's not even the nudity that's weird. It's no. The, commenting on it and the comparing and also the way they compare it to something they would learn about that person. <laughs> like that's what's weird because, because like his left testicle is better. That means he's a good listener. Yeah. Or, or yeah, I, I, I prefer, I prefer shaved balls myself. He, like someone would say like, that's someone who's really got their life together. Mm -hmm. Like things yeah. like they, they, they make assumptions about the person based on the genitals. <laughs> and we don't. Well, that's true. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, listen, listen, listen. I don't need assumptions about the person. I just need the genitals. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and, the, and Sam's, Sam's mother's like, there's a sex ban. You can't, um, uh, you're kind of having sex here. And then Sam kind of fi finals finishes it up with love to me is being able to have trust with someone. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. 
And the mom's got a bunch of chores for him when he gets there. She's got all these. She loves him, though. Like she said, she she thinks she's genuine. Genuine. I will say, watching the mom and the daughter try to get up out of that Snuggie was hysterical to me. Again, and we will never do that. But I'm here... I'm here for another season of Sam and Ali and Arlie, and especially when they go to UK, if mother's going to be involved, I think that could be great. It could give us a bit of Kede and Alejandro that we've missed from the show. I guess, but she's just so reprehensible. Oh, she's horrible. But do you want to see them again on next season? I do. I'd like to see him because I think he's really funny. I, and I think she's horrible, but has her moments where she's funny and makes good TV with juxtaposed with him. Yeah. That's one reason why he's so funny. So let's talk okay. about Tony and Nui as quickly as possible. Oh. So he starts in with this. My dreams are shattered due to an, due to an argument. So we're moving on. And then Tony says, I'd like to say I'm sorry because I used to be a London boy and now I'm a family man. And so we're going to forget that you made her leave your apartment, walk out, come in again, like some type of like re-education camp that you were having for her. Yes. And then you told her to leave and to get your shit and get out of your house. And we're going to completely erase that from our brains, like some kind of men in black device. Yes. This is insulting to your audience. I thought this was insulting too. That's a great way of, of putting it because it, again, talk about whiplash. And then it's suddenly, he's like, we're putting it behind us. And then they're in the fucking London eye and he's proposing to her and And she's apologizing to him as well. And she's apologizing. And she says, I have to stay in Thailand. And I went, how is this ever negotiable? You have a daughter. How is this negotiable? It never was because he acts like, He even says, he's like, oh, well, what am I going to do? What do I have to, well, you know, I guess I'll do, I guess I'll do it. But then he basically admits, but I've always, I'm ready to go anyway. I've always wanted to do it anyway. No stakes. And I'm like, yes, no stakes. And he says, at the end of the day, I'm just a boy in love with a girl who is threatening and controlling to her all the time. He didn't say that, but it was kind of that. Yeah. Um, That's when I wrote down if Sleeping with the Enemy was a romantic comedy. Um, (laughs) Yeah. And you're right that the London Eye, everything's fine. I'm going to say this is not a good idea, Nui, because there's no escape route. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think you always need to have one with Tony. You need to have it yeah, out. You do. And you don't, and you, I would love to go in the eye. You probably wouldn't like it. Uh, I don't like being up there in a, con- a small space and not, not being able to walk away. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I, I don't love the I don't love heights. So yeah. I could do it for a little bit and then I'd probably have to close my eyes. Well, and you you haven't lived till you fucked in a helicopter with the doors open. Just the wind. I assume you have not done that. No, but it's no be, I think it'd be hot. <sighs> Yeah, don't sure. Don't you think like you're in one um, of those army heli? You know, we don't have time for this. So at the end, the sister's hugging her. Yay. And I went, could, could all of this have been faked? It felt it. I thought that at the end. All too. of it? It felt like the whole thing was just fake. I really don't like this kind of shit. Um I, not that I think reality TV has a ton of integrity, but it is based on a certain level of truthfulness. You got to sell it. You got to yeah. sell it. And also, if it's not truthful, you got to sell it. Yeah. I, this season's but we're been, done with them. This season's been very disappointing for me. Um, I, I thought it's a lot better than last season, but the, this episode's shit for me. Um, uh, Charlotte and we, Joe Hart. I'm fucking riveted to this, though. This is... I think they're going to get married. You can't fake this, though. This guy almost had a fucking panic attack. Oh, you mean in this thing? So she's... she's They're packing for the wedding. She's got her... Um, as someone in our Patreon comments described her, her, her SS bride hat on. <laughs> the yes, Nazi SS secret bride. police. Mm-hmm. No, it's not SS bride. The Nazi police. The SS. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's what it looks like. 
<sighs> not SS, like not not like Navy. No, not sailor. I didn't. I was just okay. She oh, fucking Luftwaffe. Uh, anyway, so later on in the DR with Johan, he's losing it. He's losing it. What? This was insane. And even the producer, we hear them say, are you okay? You seem nervous. And he goes, turn it off. Turn it off. It looks like he's going to jump out the window at one point. Because he's um, growing. Oh, wait, this is real. I'm going to yeah. have to look at her every day. Uh, and he, she leaves and he's like, she's like, miss you already. <laughs> so you still think they're going to get married? I don't. It well, I think next week burning a dress. But that's what I'm thinking. I think they are going to go through with it. But later on, something else changes. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So the mom, the mom who. I think is a horrible person, but I watched the entire oh. time because she said, the mom just finds, she's like, take that stupid hat off. <laughs> you can't take you seriously. And it's like, she's, she's so nervous, mean to mom. Her. And she's like, well, I'll be nervous marrying you too. <laughs> and the yeah. thing is, mom is super insulting, but you know, she's doing it because she feels so much anxiety for her daughter. Um, she does. I, I love the line where she's like, she's got balls to do it. I wouldn't do it. And I've been married three times And I've times been married before. three times. Uh, Did it three times. And, and then she said, I just want you to be happy and have a nice life. She's always been around me. Um, and that's when she's crying and basically says, she actually says to her, you promise you stay home with me, with me. And I went... <laughs> It is not her job to raise you. And you, go, go, it made go. me feel for Charlotte. She's been guilted into this. Go back to Sweeney Todd and make some meat pies, you Harrigan. Yeah. Um, what a so shitty thing. The morning of the wedding. But I still kind of live for her because she's so mean and shady. No, it's like um, Sam. It's worth it to see her on TV. I would love to see Charlotte again on next season as well. Charlotte, I don't. I, what I dislike is the white savior shit. Um, I don't, do I think she's a bad person? No, I like no. her. She just has the moments of that. That's like a little, little, um, she's eminently much more watchable than a lot of the rest of the cast though. Yeah. I, I will fun. say and that. And I think she's funny and she has moments. She's, I think good for this because she doesn't take herself. She doesn't take all aspects of her life seriously. Yeah. She'll have a go at herself and that makes for entertaining television. The morning of the and, wedding. But it was wonderful to watch them all freak out. Oh, yeah. And I want to say this. Charlotte is this person, y'all, and it's happening. We're seeing it. Like Poodle, Charlotte can't get hot. <laughs> yeah. Her <laughs> her gay friend was, like, fanning her because, y'all, I'm the hot, same way. It's all over. Poodle's hot. It is it's all, all over. Oh, it's all over. As my father <laughs> said, Fran, it's all over but the crying. But the crying. <laughs> It's all over. It's not good. If, it, no, if I get hot, we've lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and that is Charlotte. And they're and all going to be like, miserable. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. And so let the uncle, there's a plan, cha change of plans. And the uncle, his uncle was not picking him up. They were going to go in a taxi. It's a little sketch. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of the dress? Pretty dress. An okay dress, actually. Completely inappropriate for a beach wedding. Thank you. Because it's the, the veil. I exactly. don't think the beach is well, windy. I, I don't think we need veils there, for beach weddings. There is no beach wedding. Oh, that's true. It's not a beach wedding. But it looks even stupider when you see them just at a place that piece. looks like an old Smart and Final. Yeah. Um, it's not fit well. It's almost no. like she just bought it off the rack with no alterations. I think she did. Yeah. That's yeah. not she yeah, it's not fitting. It's not her. an ugly dress. It's just I like the like little leaves, lace on her yeah. shoulders and arms. I think that's pretty. Um and her sister and her mom and her and some gay guy uh <laughs> is there. What what, what did we say gay gay uh what are gay uh What's the gay version of Tyler? What did you say again in UK? Uh, gay versions of Tyler are Liam's. No, Liam's Liam. everybody. Um, mm. What are gay? Tristan's? 
Tristan, that's um, a good one. What are come out as UK sissies? What are what are I think they're, they're probably very similar to names here. Desmond. Like what's a what's a good gay male name for uh for England? I said what is let's see if it comes up. Um You you I'll keep going. No, um, there's nothing really. I, so we're gonna need sissies on this one. Uh Charlotte says, I'm hot, I'm bothered, and I don't want anyone to know. I'm getting pissed off. That's, that's such a great line. <laughs> and I wrote down the tone of this is so weird. This the tone of this scene is so weird because if he doesn't show up, they've been portraying it like it's a comedy. Yeah. And so if he doesn't show up, that's why I think he's gonna show up. If he doesn't oh, show up, it is extremely sad. But who would know? With this, this tonally, this tonally just amorphous show. I, I, I don't understand tone sometimes here. I agree. Mom is saying, she's like, oh, I'm furious, I'm furious. She's so angry. And there's, they're waiting, waiting. So finally, he, she calls him. He says, he's going to be there five minutes. Then like 20 minutes later, she calls again. And he's like, oh, five minutes. ready. Yeah, she's like, you just, he's like, it's going to be there five minutes. So he shows up, um, and now, and he makes, they they kind of say, they say the joke, but it is like, y'all, when you're in on like. Island time. Island time. Like this is a thing. Why, why is anyone surprised? But they do have an actual appointment and they'll lose their appointment. Uh, If they're going to run late, they're going to run late. It's fine. (laughs) This that's why it wasn't high stakes to me. I know if you're on an island, everything's going to start half half an hour late. It well, it is shitty that he's not there either. I was thinking they're just pumping us up to them. He showed up and getting married, but when they shockingly showed next week on, and that's why I think s- they get married and they say she's burning the dress. Yeah, uh, I something don't happens know. after they get married. Oh, after you think they get married, something because yeah. y'all something happened. Because did you see her transformation of her makeup oh, yeah. and her hair? Oh yeah, that that's true. Maybe is, something did happen. That y'all, that's a trauma makeover. If I seen <laughs> one, because you had one. <laughs> We've all had one. We've all um, been there. Wh- they're waiting thirty minutes. The uh, no Johan. She says, "Hurry up, or I'll go home." And that's when the mom goes. Oh my God, he stood her up <laughs> and she kind of smiles. I've she, been using, I've been using that phrase. He stood her up. He stood her up. She did she say it up. like the father from My Fair Lady. Yes. She does um, remind get, get me of. Read in the morning. She does the way Albert she looks Doolittle. and talks. She reminds me of Albert Doolittle in drag. Eliza. <laughs> Mom you're my you're my poppy Eliza. Uh, uh, and so she's just my favorite thing is she's just smoking in her wedding dress. <laughs> that I that was the thing. Quintessential I, just, Charlotte. Just smoking this with her Tristan or whatever his name is. Fanning her. Yeah. Just fanning her. And, and then nothing, mom's like, I won't forgive him for this. Won't forgive. Nothing is he more I think. Up. <laughs> What, what, why don't they have the cover of that on De Beers ads or for David's bridal? British bride just monthly. Just a bride standing in an ill-fitting dress, just smoking a fag and a fag wa- and a f- another fag waving her. Yeah, uh, <laughs> fanning her. <laughs> Two fags and a bride. Two fags and a bride. And with that, oh. and with that <laughs> that's the show. Oh, oh wow! There's still great moments in this, but yeah. So we've got one I, more episode. I, I wrote down right. here are the couples. I think um, uh, the couples who are left are uh, Charlotte, Johan, Nicole, and Taher, Sprite, and John, uh, Jamie, and Kathleen. Because we had two couples end. We think, yeah. This. So we have four more. Um, I think we'll lose one probably the next time. Um, and then two more episodes, right? Yep. Two more episodes. Yeah. So 
And we don't know yet if we're having a tell-all or not. That is true. They, I feel like they'd announced it before. I feel like they would announce it. So I feel like they're not going to do it. I, but. I don't know if this production company... <laughs> how do I say this? I don't know if they've thought things out fully. <laughs> I think they just kind of are making it up as they go along. It feels sometimes. like that sometimes, yeah. Which... Yeah. That's what we do, y'all. Thanks for listening. Yeah, this but is, <laughs> we, yeah, but we yeah, I know. Oh, I don't. I take the video where I can't see myself. I gotta get out of here. This light is terrible. Um, yeah, I was gonna tell I gotta, you. I hate bad lighting, y'all. Go to realitygaze.com. That's where you can find all things us. The review Apple Podcasts on or on Spotify. Um, and lastly, we just want to remind you, it really would mean a lot, uh, especially if you take the time to listen to the episode with Marcus Parks from last podcast on the left. We would really love it if you shared it in their Reddit, on their social, yeah. on Twitter, tag them. Like we really, uh, again, we just want to be the podcast HPV. That's all we want to yep. be. Yep. Can't get rid of so. us. <laughs> Maybe your kids can get vaccinated against us. Yeah, they probably you're gonna, you know what? You're going to need more than two shots for us, though. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, everybody. Once I we'll move see, in, I move in. Once, you, once Boodles moves in, we'll mm-hmm. see you next time. Until then, we call these lads and lasses lonely hearts, don't we, Poodle? Because aren't we all just lovers from across the pond looking for some lonely hearts to shack up with? Yes. And if you smoked in your wedding dress, there people are coming at you for that one. If you smoked in your wedding dress, uh, waiting for somebody, you can give us a ring. Give us a ring. <laughs> <laughs>